words uh, describe your love for hip hop? Uh, as far as love and hip hop goes, you know, I gotta go with dedication, love, and passion, man. Uh, for dedication, you know, it's not about just trying to be the best, it's about not stopping when you're the top. Right. You know, once you've set your name, once you've set your goals, you don't stop it. Right. Uh, dedication, don't give up, you know, even when you feel that you're at the bottom, there's always room to be at the top. Right. Uh, as far as love goes, you know, it's a love and a doing what you love to do. You know, I don't work a nine to five, I, I DJ. I DJ six nights a week, and I love doing this. There's not a time where I have to answer to a boss. There's not a time where you have to collect a paycheck and worry about how much your paycheck's gonna be. Right. I set my own schedule, I set my own pay. No, uh, no. As far as passion goes, it just reflects on, reflects back to love. You know? It's the ability to go after your passion and not saying, oh, I wanna be a DJ because it's hot right now. Right. I wanna be a DJ because girls like DJs. Mm. It's doing it because you love to do it and setting that drive for yourself to say, I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing, even when people tell me no or even when there's no gigs available. Right. You, know, you have to go out and get it yourself. You have to put the work in, you have to put the footwork in. You look at the top DJs in the world, you look at Craze, you look at Cubert, you look at Z Trip, you look at A Track, you know. You look at Hardwell and the EDM scene. They are what we would call the best. But still, to this day, after they've been doing it 30 plus years, they still have room to improve. Not, not improve, but they're learning something new every day. Right. Which is why I like DJ. Oh, you're just enhancing their skills, uh, Exactly. So what are you trying to communicate to the world uh, through, your, through your craft? It's just the ability to translate your emotions through music and right. get the crowd to vibe off of what you're feeling. Right. And you can start off the night having a bad night outside of work. You come in, everybody cheering, having a good time, singing along. Which means, hey, they're feeling it right now. Right. They're feeling this vibe that I'm setting. Right. And the ability to be the life of the party. So basically, we're at uh, 2020 Hook Lounge. You know, this is 2020 Hook Lounge. And uh, this is my first time uh, actually hitting uh, a fish Big Daddy Hookah. You know what I mean? And yeah, they got strawberry, blueberry, mango, and all that good. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I requested was Newport flavored hookahs. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm smoking right now. They looked at me crazy initially. But what I had them do is basically like crack open a pack of Newports, break down all the, uh, the tobacco out of the Newport, and put it in a fucking tobacco and a hookah thing. So what I'm smoking right now is one pack of Newport Longs in a hookah. We put some straw with star burst so it can add to the flavor, you know what I mean? It's incredible, it's nothing like it. Uh, DJ Spence, what you think about it? All right, this is DJ Spence here, checking in for Clash of the Titans 2. June 13th, it's gonna be a deep dance battle, MC battle, DJ battle, grab battle. It's gonna be insane. Hope to see you there, all you DJs come out, have a good time, set everything up, talk to my boys, they'll get you all taken care of. It's gonna be crazy. So, any of you guys that wanna step up, come on. Ha ha ha.